Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. This is going to be a super short video. I just want to talk about the most neglected and lonely button that is in Lightroom. Most photographers don't even look at this button, and really we should. I'm one of those photographers. I don't use this button, but those that do use it all the time and we really all need to get in the habit of taking advantage of what this button can do for us now specifically i have this image here um i processed it fully and typically what i would normally do is i would move to the next image which is pretty much the same image and i would start processing that one then the next one and then the next one and then the next one and the next one and i just keep processing them really you don't have to because Lightroom has a button that will let you apply all the edits you did to one image to the very next image so I fully processed this image all I need to do is click on the next image and then in the develop module on the right hand side at the bottom of the right panel you'll see previous just press that and you'll apply all the edits you just did previously to this image then you could go to the next image and hit previous now, i know it's a little anticlimactic, but really in my opinion that button is underused so you can just pick and choose images that are similar to that first image the image you processed for example i have this image although it's similar it's different in that i shot more down so i don't have as much sky in this shot now in some cases, this would work fine with the previous button, but watch when I press it here. You'll see it looks a little odd in here. That's because in the other images, I put an upside down graduated filter, meaning this scene was really had a lot of dynamic range. And the exposure latitude of the camera just really didn't capture it perfectly, where I could adjust it in Lightroom with just the global adjustment. So I had to put a local adjustment, specifically a graduated filter in there, upside down to kind of open up the bottom part. And because the other images were shot with the horizon lower than for this image, it doesn't look right. So I do have to just kind of move that up. So at times, maybe you'll just have to make some minor adjustments uh, to your images. But in most cases, as long as the lighting was the same, the scene is similar, your uh, processing when you hit that previous button should be spot on. So again, all of us, including me, have to take advantage of that previous button. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.